Regular interchange situations. No, the ball across that far side. A surreal atmosphere with these empty grandstands. My apologies if you had difficulty hearing our commentary in the opening minutes here. We've had some technical issues which I gather are now resolved. Pakistan nil, Hungary one is the uh, the score line. Rihard Rabo, the goal scorer for Hungary, with a very well struck shot indeed that went across the Pakistan goalkeeper. Yusuf Bat found the very bottom corner at the far post. Very well shot Pakistan have had their moments as well. get from one post to the other there and but did very well to do that in time spectacular shot crowd pleasing goal it would have been if there was a crowd to please if you weren't hearing me you, you, you do need to know that uh, the fans haven't deserted us it's just that for reasons of stadium security the stadium has been emptied and will remain allowed back in for the six o'clock game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, connected with these two sides, I should hasten to add. player in the engine room for Hungary, great director, and that's a great shot, so he's rising all the way, comfortably over the top of the grandstands, not the first ball we've, uh, we've lost, I think some of you will be keeping a ball count, in terms of the number of the balls have disappeared over this uh, wonderful little pop-up stadium. So Hungary reset again. Really good use of the pitch. They play an intelligent game. Very attractive style of football. Not taking too much out of themselves though in this, this one. I'll probably show you they have enough quality in their team to attack the Pakistan. I said for those of you who could hear me at the start of the game, Pakistan probably benefited more than most teams here in Crete from the exposure and the experience at this level there. Performances are improving game by game. Looks like we've got a bit of a problem with one of the balls. Hungary is seeing so much of the ball that maybe Pakistan would like to have one of their own to play with. Living off scraps of possession at the moment. Again, but guarding that near post. Limpet like he is, hanging on to it. Making sure he's not embarrassed there. Corner here for Hungary. No one at the back post. 
played short. Fekeda from a distance. Robbie. Robbie. Defender and out of play. Be a restart with a corner here for you. That's great. You lead by one. Strong position within this group. We should know by uh, pretty much by the end of the day who our quarter finalists will be. The 16 who. Uh, the uh, uh, round of 16 on the quarterfinals, I should say. And uh, who the various ties will be between. There's a few things that mathematically need to be sorted out, but it is definitely shaking down into a relatively clear pattern of qualification. The groups of death. There's one or two again, slightly more orderly and routine. Again, Hungary having the ball and it's Pakistan having to do all the chasing of it. Very great credit and showing great preparedness to, to go running after the ball. That's a good mistake, like that. Good chasing down there. That's an excellent effort coming in there from Shaban Hussein. Just not close enough for the Hungarian player to take his arm off the ball and allow it to go over the sideline here. Showing the exact spot where the referee wants to take him from. The <laughs> keeper made the, uh, the diving save, but he felt as if he wanted to get a touch on the ball, but it was right behind that, and it was wide and going wider. A touch go. And a firefighter. Khan and Sam is going to have to pick the ball out for the first bit now because time. Pakistan has had an enlightened play. Shot was shot, followed up well there by uh, Shaban Hussein. Keeper didn't hold on to it. Pakistan a level. I don't think that was part of the Hungarian plan. Controlled the ball so well. Been unable to extend their, their lead. Now they're being caught out. Van Hussein tucking it in. Oh, the goalkeeper had spilled it. Once again, a really good curling pass from one side to the other. Quite an aristocratic sort of style of football that the Hungarians are playing. Very controlled, very precise. Good movement, good understanding. And just a little bit of swagger. Here they go again. Four one. Tied it up there, just about by uh, Balac. All the were arriving. Pakistan's sideline ball here. Butt's going to launch it. The area of the bat again. It's long this time. Well, that's the first one in the commentary box. I think I'll put that in my shirt. Nobody will notice. Sideline ball here for Pakistan. <laughs> 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 well blocked. Oh, knocks out of play. Has to sprint back into goal. Mohamed Ali had gone behind him, covering the goal. Very intelligent with the play there from Ali. 
I watched uh, Pakistan a fair bit in last year's World Cup in Lisbon, and I thought they had a lot to learn. Come here this year, and clearly those lessons have been well learned. They really have made huge improvements. But there's nothing they can do about that. Again, a lovely little interchange of passes. And Pakistan didn't pick up the runners who were standing directly underneath the crossbar. Hungary have the lead back again. Pakistan it again. Lovely first touch football. It's down there, getting the final touch on it. Well, that's uh, the half time whistle here in the half time empty stadium. And the hungry of time there. Second goal so well coming just before the half time break. Hard on Pakistan, have had very little fortune in the tournament. They've been one of the teams where good luck seems to deserve them. So, really good performance again, difficult circumstances. And half time, Hungary lead here by two goals to one. of the game between Hungary and Pakistan which is being played in an empty stadium for the reasons of, uh, of security. We're looking to add to their reputation for the already good against them. Pakistan who plays so well but no chance there for the keeper. Rihard Rabo fires Hungary ahead and usually plays shots. Hold on, Pakistan. 
attempt to get the ball first. in the tournament, been some fantastic saves as well. He's our Airbnb man. Sliding the ball away between my flat, just allow the ball to bounce off his legs a little too far. Not within the laws to go sliding like that if there are players around. So Mohammed Ali, pretty much on the halfway line here. He'll leave it, I think, for that. Plays it short. Poor Ali. Overlap on the far side. They're defending again the from Pakistan. There's Habib Rehman with a challenge there. It's gone all the way back through the Hungarian keeper. Zach Joe is uh, the main deal, all, despite the fact that Hungary have three keepers in their squad. Gary and Skipper thinking about a shot from distance there. Uh, Felly nearly bounced off the keeper into his own net. A good corner again to Hungary here. That was less convincing from Yusuf Bat. He was leaning all of his feet there rather than his hands. It's very tight over that far side. Shot, shot from distance, carried away. Put clear by Pakistan. Oh. 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 
sideline and there is from the corner. Some discussion over there about who will actually take for Hungary. Ali. But, Ali again, a little bit of space on that far side. Rasping shot. Yeah. Behind it, but, uh, didn't hang on to it. Oh, he looks dangerous when he comes up from those deep positions. A good uh, right foot on him. Sideline ball for Pakistan. Six and a half minutes gone in the second half. Pakistan still very much in the game now. Was that a push? It was a push. Inside or outside? I think the referee is uh, giving it outside. In my first viewing, it's probably the right decision. It's a bit of a goal for him there from Rizal Laszlo Lachko. Through the back of the Pakistani play, you see it right on the edge of the area. All the red shirts of Hungary back blocking the way to goal. Movement from Pakistan. Ball pull back. He's in several minds. Just wanted the uh, trigger to be pulled there, really. Didn't it? A lovely ball. A solid challenge. Sideline ball, and we hoist it up. Well, that uh, was number four, and I'd love to tell you who he was, but I'm afraid that number four does not appear on my team sheet. But the mystery man pulled the trigger there. You could see his intentions, it was a clear within the uh, touching distance of him, exactly what he was trying to do. Execute. Oh, well, that was a wonderful shot there from Muhammad Ali from distance. He had to be saved. The keeper flying across to his left, deflecting it away. I think 
Canterbury will be a little bit disappointed. A little surprised they won't be able to put this Pakistani team to bed by now. Still very much in the hunt. They trail, but it's a very slender lead. Tempo of the game. Hungary have six points from their two games played, so they're comfortably in charge of the uh, pool. They'll be confident of uh, taking the three points from this one. Hey, well. hey, misplaced. Hey. The pool that Germany are in has been deducted the point for some misconduct in the tournament. Any last chances, slim chances that they were qualifying for the uh, knockout stages, so our uh, world champions are out. Shot the distance, oh, it's a beauty. All along the deck by one of the Hungarian style players there, Benster. Shaban Hussein with a little tap in. The only goal scorer so far for Pakistan. And they played for far post. It wasn't such a good shot. It's Fekita, the captain. Pakistan are playing their football. Into the centre circle. And Ali turns. Well, this Pakistan team can keep together and add perhaps some new faces as well. There's absolutely no reason why by the time we reach the World Cup next year, we should be a little bit closer to the top of the pile. If we continue on this learning curve, that will be exactly where they'll find themselves. Kicks clear. We'll play the cross. Easy tap in there. Rubbolt tapping in at the far post. Pakistan getting themselves in a little bit of a muddle there. Rico Rubbolt. He's second. Rubbolt, they call him Rico. Pakistan 104. <laughs> Let's 
About six minutes to go in the tournament now for Pakistan. And Ali again having a, a dip from distance. It's a player who would slot very nicely into any of the uh, top ranked teams here. He's got the, the right sort of engine on him. Keeps going, has a very good position sense as well. Immediately his legs are taken to the danger spot. Corner for Hungary. So here we go. Almost falling over that photographer in the corner there. It is very tight. This is why. Pekka has had a couple of sightings now. The reason the pitch is so tight, I asked one of the organisers the other day, if it was a little wider on that far side, we would actually be. Uh, have the wave actually lapping at the sands. Probably not a great idea, is it? So we lost about a metre from last year's surface in uh, Lisbon. Spectacular scenery, spectacular venue. And uh, the Cretan organisers deserve nothing but praise for the work that they've done. We're just playing people again, taking the tempo out of it, preserving their lead and conserving their energy for the battles to come. Not the best pass of the day so far. Sideline ball for Pakistan. Back into place with that. But showing you can play a bit of football as well at the back. <laughs> the final pass rather let him down. Not replaying walking football now. I thought we were going to have an exhibition of walking football here later in the week. No one able to pick up the ball with a good positive defending there. A wayward shot. The back of the grandstand there. No one can return it, of course. Nicely held up there. Ali Haider. But. British uh, opponent there who was uh, a punso. The eye and took it away. Still making it to. Hard work getting the ball clear now. Has a chance for another one. Good save by the defender there, diving in front of his goalkeeper. Well, despite the scoreline and the lateness of the game, both sides still battling away for possession. Just about two minutes left on the clock. I don't think there's much doubt that Hungary are going to come away with the points. Pakistan should take credit that they've run one of the genuine favourites. Close again here. Play the full part in the game. Most of it has been as a rear guard action, it's, uh, it has to be admitted, but their organization and their willingness to keep running from first to last whistles is impressive. Yeah, good batteries, appropriately enough. Just going through the motions now. Hoisted clear. 
Well, a good uh, valiant attempt there from the Bantalby to try and keep the, uh, the ball in, but just bounced away off him. We're into the last minute. Hoisted high. A huge leap from Ali. Quite yet. Enough elevation this time. Still Pakistan. Just never give up. High foot there is, is penalised. Good interception now, Pakistan. Can they keep the ball on that far side? No, they can't. Just too much weight on it. And that will be the last attack of the game. The referee blows the time away. Convincing enough win as far as Hungary are concerned. And they uh, mark John in this pool. They've beaten Pakistan by four goals to one. Uh, but a really good workout again from Pakistan, who continue to impress with their determination and their organisation here. So confirmation there of the score and the score for you. Pakistan one, Hungary four. Just how far can Hungary go? So highlights of the game between Hungary and Pakistan. Hungary in their red strip against Pakistan, who've struggled for points, but have made lots of friends here in Crete with their energetic play and their ever-improving uh, performances. No chance for the first goal, though. The blue pass is Rihar Rabot pulled the trigger. The goal. Right in the corner. Flat in the Pakistan net. Get the score line. Expect the words from the great save. And at the other end is opposite number. So uh, got into the action. He didn't need to. What he did need to do was hang on to the ball, and that was uh, Shaban Hussein getting in. Scrambling it over the line after the keeper got it squirmed on his guard. Well, at that point, it's on the level, but not for long. So, knocking the ball in, and a metre away from the left of the score the lead.